Welcome, welcome back to the Binding of Lorjan, everyone. In the last episode, we made it to Ulusil, which is pretty good. I'm gonna trade souls for moats. I'm gonna go for one of each, and then fuck, I don't know. Just go for vitality. Um, feels like a good enough compromise. Listen, more HP never hurt anyone. So yeah, this is a new area. We haven't had Ulusil so far, so what I'm gonna do here is we'll see what happens. That chest looks... okay, fuck. Should be okay because chests, as far as I remember, respawn. Just kind of annoying. I was gonna say that that chest looks very out of... Fuck, it doesn't. I swear chess used to respawn. Okay, that guy has terrible accuracy. Oh well, whatever. I think we'll survive without whatever that item was. Yeah. Maybe I just moved over here. Hey, hey. The most useless stat there is resistance. But, free mode is a free mode. <laughs> okay, the pathing can use some work, I think. Um, that asshole just like roly polyed himself off the edge. Sucks for him. So I'm gonna try to. This is level 4 or 5, I don't remember, but I'm gonna try to be more careful as we go here because I do feel like this is a money run. And. The only thing that could end a money run is if I'm stupid. And I do like some dumbass mistakes, so we're gonna try to... Oh, hey, shit. We're gonna try to not do any dumbass mistakes. Which means we are gonna take our time, be careful, not sprint too often because I tend to accidentally leap off of buildings, which is usually pretty bad. What the fuck? But this is... Compared to the previous episode, if you watched that from yesterday, how we fucking struggled. Again, this looks easy money. Oh, well, that was an attempt at the parry. Magic Thord Giant Machete. Hey. That sounds... interesting. And it has a proper moveset. Oh fuck. Can you like... fall off for me? Okay. We're gonna... Switch back to our real weapon. Because I think I could be in trouble here. Fuck. Oh god, these guys are terrible when they get this sped up mechanic on them. They're like absolutely all over the place. Yeah, and it's like impossible to avoid them. Interesting that the other weapon didn't do jack shit. Fuck. Oh, it's because... yeah, okay, never mind. That was like a proper heavy helmet. I thought it was the ninja hood for a second, which would have been much more fitting. Yeah. I mean, I could exp... oh, hello, hello. I could explore. I was just about to wiggle my way out of exploring, but I'm not gonna because... The dude is there. Vamos. Vamonos. And that fool sells hella upgrade materials. For cheap, too. So all we gotta do is go up to him. 
And again, I should be able to level up even more. Although, does it tie together? I don't remember if you can buy sh shit from him. Oh, it's Andre actually, not Vamanos. Armor upgrade materials. Helm of Pringy. Hey, Pringy. High poison resistance. Trace Smiter. God. <laughs> Interestingly, this doesn't seem to be randomly generated. Um. So, yeah. That's like intentionally called something stupid. So, there's that. Anyways, we are hella leveling up here. Um, and I like that. Stronger I can make myself the more... Again, I'll only be susceptible to the dumbass deaths, which can very much happen. You know, the a la leaping off of a building type deal. If that... Okay, I was gonna say, if that goes through, I'm gonna flip a lid. It could very much happen. I mean, this is Dark Souls. Shit just goes through shit a lot of the times, especially if you're an enemy. I wonder if this still works. It does. Which means it's a good thing that I put my bonfire here. Now the screaming. This area has good atmosphere, actually, when you think about it, but I'm gonna be honest with you and it might be considered um, a bit of sacrilege. I might get fucking flamed in the comments for this, but as much as I like this DLC, and I do like this DLC, I've always felt like the real strength of it was from the bosses instead of the areas. I mean, the areas are okay. I think the initial place, the gardens, are kind of boring. This place, again, does not have the most interesting looks, I think. The dungeon is probably the best. Well, actually, I don't know. I think you get what I'm trying to say. That really, it's the enemies and the bosses, I think, that make the Ulusil DLC rather than the areas themselves. This looks like a prime area for a boss fight. We are gonna have a... Fuck no! Or fuck yeah! Seriously! Okay. I am very happy that I went for Tenestus. Oh, and he's... <laughs> Motherfuck. You are, you are shitting me, aren't you, game? We have a fucking Flash Ornstein. Giant one, too. God, this is the second Inginito I'm fighting, right? Didn't we already have him? What? Oh, it's Priscilla that's bleeding. We gotta get rid of her. That is straight up. You have got to, your this game is fucking with me sometimes. This is taking proper damage. <sighs> Listen, seriously. He's not dealing a lot of damage. Come on. I'm like a little bit nervous. He's unlikely to kill me because, yeah, he's not doing a lot of damage. God damn. Bull Whip of Upsider. Thank you for that. 
that wasn't actually that bad. Um, the initial kind of phase was way worse. What did we get one time when I went into the... What the fuck? Okay. Thank you for not spawning enemies in assholes places. Why is he running? Okay. Um... I have no fucking clue where I am. Oh, I'm in the tomb of ja Shit. Oh no, this is... This is really bad. Can we just examine how bad this is? <laughs> Sheer light. I'm stuck in the tomb of giants. No light. Randomized enemies. Okay. What I gotta rely on is that I'm such a like elite high tier Dark Souls player that I know the Tomb of Giants by what the fuck is T posing. Probably look like an idiot on face cam. Cause believe me I'm concentrating. And I know I could cheat this by turning up the brightness on my PC. But we ain't about that life. Okay, I made it. I'm gonna put my bonfire where I'm supposed to. If I know where it should be in the area, unless there's a fucking enemy here. because yeah, the enemy just makes it impossible. I was gonna say, what I was gonna say is, speaking of T-posing, I've been watching Raised by Wolves this past couple of weeks. I'm reminded of T-posing because the android in it flies in almost a T-pose. Um, it's a good show. I got a fucking... This is at least normal speed, but fucking terrible way to fight him. Okay, I think I'm gonna... This is what we call a tactical retreat in the business. Seriously, man, that thing is fast. Okay, can you like fall off or something? But fall off in a way where you die? Thank you. It worked. But if I put my bonfire here, then the uh, asshole, the little crystal dude is gonna respawn. Anyways, I've been watching Raised by Wolves. It's really good. It's a really good show. Um, kind of gets weaker towards the end. Um, but the concept itself is really, really good. I just nearly walked off the edge. I, I'm, I'm gonna put my bomb for that. I have no idea where I am, so I'm just gonna put it here. <laughs> oh no! I couldn't have put it at a worse place. Okay. This is gonna have to be some like... Shit. I'm stupid. Cool. Mm, and I want... Want this. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. That's all, folks. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Raised by Wolves. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good show. Uh, if you have not seen it and you like sci-fi, highly recommended. It gets the official Mr. Sketchhead seal of approval. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, the T-posing. The Android T-poses in it. Can I? Yes, I can. 
Oh. Doesn't this also have the dagger move set? I've had this weapon before, yeah. I... <sighs> this is genuinely disorienting. Um, I'm gonna hug the wall. Yeah, this thing does even more damage. I've had this weapon before. I traded it for something eventually, but I think it got me through like a good chunk of the game. Oh shit. Why do they... I've never gotten a normal speed version of this guy. And man, do I wish I had. Just one... Hey, 420. Nice. Can we just get out of here, please? I, I, don't, li I don't like this area when I don't have a light... Thanks. We're almost we're almost there. Not gonna risk it. Turns out to be like a mimic or some shit. Which knowing my luck, it would the last one would be the mimic. Hey Solaris oh fuck. Is this normal speed? I don't think he is. Oh he's dead. And this is a beautiful character. I think I really... I really symbolize what this run is all about. Hey, I didn't notice that. I'm mid-rolling. Yeah, let's get that shit off of us. Nope. That's even heavier. Never mind, never mind. Oh, it's because of the... It's because of the weapon. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, please just let me mid-roll. I mean fast-roll. This is mid-rolling. Nice. That's all I was asking for. Good old fast but I think my point still holds that I think this armor set really exemplifies what this playthrough is all about. In a hodgepodge run, you might as well have a hodgepodge character. That's a, such a funny word. A hodgepodge. People always say that English is not as expressive as some other languages. I disagree. I'm gonna be honest with you, the only... Being able to speak two languages... Um, one thing where English is really, really, really lacking compared to my native tongue of Hungarian is for sure swearing. Like, Hungarian swearing is a... Reiter is a beautiful art form that is impossible to imitate unfortunately English does not hold a candle and it's a little bit of a shame because in many ways Hungarian is such a beautiful swearing language that you can be like really expressive and funny instead of just saying fuck, you know. Oh, I captured a Lord's soul. That's it. So all you gotta do technically. Interesting. How long was that? Only 20 minutes. Fucking hell. 
Well, that's easy. That is very, very, very easy. That was. I got incredibly lucky. Okay, do you say anything else? No. Give me the ring. I didn't get his gift, did I? Alright, I'm just gonna go for... Um, let's go for Barbarian. I've noticed that the... You know, like the less creative you try to be. Like, don't go for the magic builds and all that. Um, because you're just gonna screw yourself. Just go for like a big ass battle axe, a shield, and that's it. It's the official Mr. Sketch had tactic guide for the Binding of Lordran as well. Because anytime I've tried to get creative with like sorcery or something like that, I've gotten my ass killed. Alright. We've been here a couple of times, let me tell you that. I do wonder how um, many runs you have to do. If it's even like possible to get to Gwyn or something. I'm assuming it is, because I've seen Lobos. Lobos Jr. played this game, uh, this mod. And he, from what I remember, he finished like it wasn't just like uh, he got bored of it and stopped playing. Oh. 20 strength. Well. Mm, this is definitely getting... Did you see that? Something like fell from <laughs> way up above. Got itself killed. Alright, we need to be tactical here a little bit because this is. I think this is the. Oh, fuck hell, yeah. This is the section of the mod where uh, it stops fucking around, isn't it? I think it'd be that section. I'm gonna put my bonfire here. Yeah. We have so many gargoyles. And I'm so bored of fighting gargoyles, I'm gonna be honest with you. These fuckers are boring as hell. Interesting with the demon as well. However, we definitely have a viable tactic here. Oh, so this just became like a normal enemy, apparently. With incredibly high aggro range. Um, You're fucking kidding me, right? Something friendly fired. Please tell me this demon friendly fires. I think it does. It does friendly fire. Interesting. The question is, is that gargoyle death gonna count? Because he died really slowly. Shit, man. Shit, shit. It's already one death. We're not even like... Well, we're more than a minute in. That was gonna be some hyperbole. It didn't count. Okay, well, how about... This would be okay if we weren't in fucking Blight Town. That's... That's what I'd say about it. My honest opinion.
certainly the fact that I'm getting poisoned. This is a fucking swamp. Oh. Um. This this ain't good. I'm gonna. Not the thing, the situation, the current situation, because. I'm dead. I knew it. I was poisoned. What what the fuck is this? Is this is this how this mod does difficulty? Like after the second run it just puts bosses everywhere? Cause if so, me and you are gonna have a problem mod. Let me tell you. Cause I'm smelling a little bit of artificial difficulty here on the horizon. I'm gonna check out the boss. I'm assuming the boss would be here. Fuck. Hold on. Did I not get the... A game? It said I got two gifts from allies already. But... Then where are my poison mosses? My poison my? Ah, that was stupid. I was trying to think of a clever... <laughs> okay. Alright. I see the camera cooperating as well. And it's the asylum or the stray demon, which one is it? I don't know. Um I don't think I'm going to play much more of this mod. I'm going to be honest with you. Unless this is like that was nowhere near me. Is this where this run dies? Is this where this run dies? Seriously? Um, I don't like this setup. I'm gonna be honest with you. By this setup, I mean... Just shoving a bunch of bosses everywhere. Maybe it's just a bad seed. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it a chance. This ain't gonna last long. Yeah. Was that five deaths? I think that might have been. Oh, we got one more, maybe. <sighs> it would be a shame for this mod playthrough to end it this way. Because I didn't... This is definitely... Again, unless this is just like a bad seed... I'm like purposefully not trying, I'm gonna be honest with you, because I wanna reset. First of all, it would be really great not to get Blight Town as the first area. Maybe in another in another um area this would be a little bit more manageable. Shut the fuck up. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and Go for the night. Let's just go night. I know... Well, actually I don't know. Okay, we're still doing very well on time. 
That was the quickest <laughs> piece out I think I've ever done. Incredibly just like I just got wrecked. Please don't be blight down. If if I can ask for any area. Oh shit. This ain't that much better. Spawn camping ass motherfuckers. That has some incredible range on it. Incredible. Because we got a decent weapon that does like jack shit damage. Fucking Psyduck, I swear. It almost looks like he grabs his head. No, don't even think about that. I think fuck I had the stamina. This certainly looks better. Like this is a better start. Holy sigil. Oh, and a male. An M A I L. Hotmail.com. That only takes a couple of mistyped letters to take you somewhere very very different. Fourteen-year-old, thirteen-year-old me used to troll skull computers with that. Pretend to misspell. That wasn't fun. <gasps> yes. I got it. My favorite. I'm so lucky. Okay. That might just make this doable. So we need 20 strength. Which again, should be doable. I think the previous Blight Town run might have just been a bad seed because just looking at what's ahead on the horizon, you know, these enemies seem a lot less, a lot less troubling, or a lot less difficult. Troubling, that's not the right word. Yeah, this is a decent... <laughs> Nice. Who had to do that sound effect? I'm like hiccuping too. Fucking dying over here. I'm trying to find a good place to put my bonfire. That's like... My priority here. It's definitely spawning more enemies. Like, just the overall concentration of foes seems to be higher. Which I'm okay with, as long as half of them are not gargoyles, you know. I'm okay with it. Uh, please be better. Nice. It's way better, and it almost weighs nothing, too. Oh, seems cheating. Hey, it's the dude. The merchant. Alright, what do you sell? Rusted key, keys, keys, keys. Definitely need it. And I think I'm gonna put the bonfire in this nice little corner here. Perfect place to... perfect place to place it. It's not the perfect place. I thought that I was out of aggro range for this thing. But it looks like I'm not. So that should give... 
us. 16 strength. So two more. Hey, that should be actually enough. Because he sells it for 2k. Ah, but he runs out. It's okay, though. Hell yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be really heavy. The stamina consumption is kinda insane. But the damage, though... That damage, though... I think I'm gonna rock it like this. Yeah. I think we're actually off to a, a good run. Yes! So it looks like the treasure gets better as well. Uh, maybe the enemies get more difficult as well, but... I'm definitely picking up hella good shit. So... In celebration of that... You know what? Let's do some bonuses here. Uh, I've been going for a long time, but some of the previous episodes have been shorter, so... I'm gonna go and kill the boss. Hopefully I can kill the boss easily. Nito and Artorias? Maybe, okay. But like really easy versions. Eat shit, Artorias. Wither and Loras? Is that the best names you could come up with? What? Oh, that the, the sinking of his scream with the Nito explosion made it sound like it was Nito that was screaming. <laughs> oh, nice. When do you ever get to see Nito in this good lighting? Seriously. Alright, eat shit, guys. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. Ah, that's more like it. Easy money. Cool. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna uh, wrap up this episode here. Shit. I was hopeful. But I think this offers better defense overall. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Lordran. Uh, we will continue here from... Continue from here, I should say, the next time. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out.